Happy Friday, guys. So I got it through the three. Holla at your girl, guys. So I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Tea for time to be together, baby. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. If you guys were shopping today, I hope you guys got everything you need. I just hope you guys are doing well over across. I hope everyone's doing okay, feeling good, looking good, smelling good. And if you're going out tonight, get in your Friday on, baby. So I got through the three. I love you guys. So listen, before I get into the read, I kind of missed you guys today. I was a little busy all day, but if you get a chance, you know what I'm going to say. If you get a chance, hit that notification button down below so you're notified when I post my videos. You know what I'm saying? Because I need you guys to keep up. I love giving you clarity. I love giving you confirmation. And I love that you can be able to, like, feel better about life and your situation. Okay? So sit at home. So go check out my shorts, guys. Okay? So listen. Energy the energy for rise and rises. The energy that I was picking up that somebody feels bad for the things that they did to you. They're really anxious. They're really nervous about the things that you guys went through. Your person wishes that they could change things. They wish they could do things different. Like when they weren't giving to you, they wish I would have gave to you more. When they weren't speaking to you, they wish I could have speak to you more. Now it's like I compromise this connection with my person for what? That's my abundance. Your person looks to you like abundance. Okay. I feel like your person, your person, ooh. Okay, look at you you help this person you guide this person in your life the master laziness and celebration okay they they realize that they were being a lazy lover yep they realize they're lazy lover. they want to come and they want to celebrate you the right way okay they want to come and celebrate this connection the right way your person's like if i could get one do over with you i would like i wouldn't mind getting a do over this thing i wouldn't mind getting a do over with you yeah look at into it spirit's not letting this person rest look at this top of the deck baby okay this person disruption you know what if your person ever didn't come forward listen energy is energy for resonant i'm gonna tell you right now okay until you apologize or until you own up to your wrongings own up to your 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 things they did wrong you're fucking up your own life okay even if you never got to your person and said sorry i apologize will you forgive me you have first got to forgive yourself for the shit that you did oh my god i'm like getting deep with this okay no but you have to forgive yourself and if you never were able to speak to your person send them loving energy send them forgiveness energy because you know this person feels like and spirit's saying like until you apologize and do things the right way it's not going to be right okay so i got to do i'm just a messenger baby okay just getting the download just giving you the information your person feels really stupid look at this number six number one compromising your person compromises connection they knew better okay they they feel bad about that they knew better at the time they were just being in selfish energy not really caring not really wanting. they're being a master manipulator super master manipulating getting what they want out of these situations being a lazy lover then realizing when you're out of their life they want to come in and celebrate you because they never did we're starting with the number six ending with the number three knowing that this is your twin flame soulmate connection they feel really bad Okay, they look you like abundance. So when you left their life, their abundance is you. Oh my gosh, this Ankh, I love this. See this thing right there on their neck? I love that. I, that's like my favorite. I'm about to get another tattoo of that because I just really love that sign. It's so powerful, okay? It's combining the man and the woman to become one whole one unit whole okay so this person's realizing intuitively like that you were their person you were their whole person they feel like okay remember guys we're always whole no matter what but this person feels like you could be like their better half she's my better half okay that's what this person is saying look at they feel bad they feel bad about not coming forward they feel bad about compromises connection i feel like your person had many chances to get it right to do it right to come out of this energy with you but they didn't but when you finally walked away and you were done with them they said damn i want to be able to come forward being led by spirit with the star card on master spirits really leading into this into what the heck is wrong with me spirits really intuitively leading this person to you like big time with the star card on the master and they're doing a lot of thinking they're they're doing a lot of thinking about the fault they're very emotional about this connection okay we started with gemini libra aquarius we got cancer scorpio pisces energy okay and spirit what's it that they want to celebrate coming forward to you talking to you communicating with you being with you being in your life fast having sex with you wand energy baby okay they want to have a celebration okay they want to celebrate they feel bad for the things that they did spirit keeps saying that they keep saying i feel bad for the things they're sitting home they're sitting home you this person's kind of waiting for you to call them waiting for you to text them they're just waiting to hear from you some type of way okay they're waiting for them nine of cups you're like this person literally asked spirit for you got you unbeknownst to them didn't even realize until after the fact and now they're like damn i i, I want my person back sunshine goddess three 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 
okay? Playing games 4.55 o'clock, playing games, being manipulated, and that devil energy not doing right by you, and now they're worried about it. Yeah, because their, intu their intuition is so strong and guiding them back to you. That's the thing. They see the synchronicities. They see your name. They hear your name. They This person even goes as far as thinking they see your face in other people. Spirit saying seeing your face in other people. Okay? All they can do right now at this point is sit back and watch you on social media. And they, they're thinking like, when can I come forward? When when can I be able to move fast? When can I have this celebration? Your person's already celebrating when you guys, like you guys might not even be talking and they're already celebrating when's the next time you guys going to be together, okay? Your person regrets arguing with you. If you guys argued or the last words that you said to them, they were hurtful. You guys exchanged words or whoever said something, it wasn't right and they they feel bad about that. Also, they feel really bad for putting you in competition or some type of competitive energy when it's like intuitively you like nothing ever was like forefront to to you but you intuitively knew and i guess that's how you caught this person out okay with the king of cups they want to come in emotional okay your person's saying like they were so emotionless and they think about that all the time the fact that they want to come in emotional okay they also want to come in and take you on a date okay your person's made a decision like you Okay, they're very anxious when it comes to you, and they're just want to. They just like want to come in. They just this person is telling me right now they're tired of thinking about it. They're tired of thinking about it. They're tired of the challenges. They just want balance. I'm tired of thinking about it. I want the. I'm tired of the challenges. I just want balance. Okay, this person just wants balance. Okay, ending the connection with the karmic or whomever okay because they weren't emotional see you, you think what your person is they're not really emotional they don't express their emotions so it's hard for them to get along with other people or even in connections but when they met you you were so open and understanding that they wanted that and they ruined it because they pushed you away your person's worried about pushing you away the most that's why it's hard for them to come forward right now they do a lot of thinking but they're like they don't want to think about the fact that you would possibly reject them if they came forward that's like a big thing the number 18 number nine wanting to end this karmic cycle they made a decision they're just worried okay so can i have a card to clarify the eight of swords and the ace of pentacles look at wanting a new beginning they want to call my god your person wants to contact you so 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 bad but they're so damn nervous because they, your person knows like the shit that they did and how they did it like it wasn't right okay it wasn't right such a goddess this empress being with you oh my goodness okay hold on guys these cards are doing everything yeah the secrets they feel bad for keeping secret from you but look with the empress the higher friend and the justice card they really want to come forward Ooh, look at this in the lover's card. They miss you being in their energy. They miss the conversations you have with them. Okay, 66. Boom. And then here comes the karmic after. Okay, the justice for them was to end that connection with the karmic. Yeah, and work on their self. Okay, they're not being selfish because, yes, with the king, queen of swords, justice, temperance card, and the emperor card, that was the best thing for them to do. Your person, once you guys cut off, it's like once you cut off connection with this person, they started running around with it like a chicken with their head cut off. They didn't know what to do, but they wasn't worried about doing anything before. They wasn't worried about you before. And it's like, as soon as you took your energy back from this person because of third party situations, they started not knowing what to do. I feel like your person immediately went into panic, okay? I feel like they they started thinking like, dang, my blessings, my abundance, everything's just gonna go downhill when I go, when I leave my person, okay? When I walk away, when they walked away, everything just started going downhill for this person. It did, it literally did. I can't make this shit up. Sunshine got a three, three, three. Okay, so they're trying to, listen, your person, it's like, boom. It's like moving mountains for them, okay? Now that you're out of their life, okay, with the six six of wands, they think it, victory would be coming forward to you. They think that. that's it, They don't care what goes on in between the connection or in between to get them back to you. They will, they're will. they willing to do whatever it takes, whatever risk it takes. What do I got to do? What do I got to do? Put these eggs in here. Put this butter in here, okay, for this cake. Put some oil in here. But whatever I got to do to get back to my person, good graces, I'll do it because I'm too intuitively guided to them too much okay on this journey i want to take this journey your person's really looking into twin flame soulmate connections they're looking I'm, I'm happy because they're taking a step back and they're understanding what they did okay they're understanding holding back your person <clears throat> listen the biggest thing that i'm getting with this energy and and past couple days is your person their biggest regret is holding back their sexual energy biggest okay you know what i'm saying they did a little lying a little sneaking but their biggest regret is because you were so damn loyal and i have the the doll dalmatian stone i'm guys i'm like blah today 
they held back a lot from you sexually look at you were pure and loyal to them and they they regret that spirit can i have one more card to clarify this reading for what queen of wands energy karmic energy they regret that now they're not with no one see you should have just stayed where you was i don't got no head no breakfast no nothing sunshine goddess three 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 all right so spirit can i have a card to clarify spiritual spirits spirits in, intuition spirits really leading them intuitively so what happened was your person see y'all was on a roll right you was with your person you guys were with spirituality you know what i'm saying and then when they they fell off okay the passive leaf least resistance they were on the path with you spiritually and then they fell off okay sunshine goddess that's what we got the number 16 over there for their abundance which would be you because they were deceptive to their abundance which would be you sunshine goddess 323 okay they're wearing a false mask so spirit said you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna deviate your path a little bit i'm gonna take that i'm gonna take that money give me that money back they're saying give me spirit saying give me that money back let it go release all expectations of this person they're coming back very soon that reading turns so so left okay your person wants to come back in and get to know you a little bit better yeah spirit release their money abundance you're not getting that Look at the sunshine back there. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. They're like, damn, ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Your person wants to come back and just talk about what happened. 11 11. Cut me open like 11-11. They've been wishing. I wish upon a star. They're wishing to rekindle this connection some type of way. Listen, your person's lick licking of miracles, okay? They literally say, I can, miracles can help me come back to together, okay? Your person regrets talking shit about you, okay? Your, your person regrets whatever your person said to you about other people was a lie. They just put up this false persona that they didn't care about you, but everyone's starting to notice around this person that that was a lie. Like, they're like, you oh. know, I'm saying you fumble and bro, they're like, that was a lie. And they regret that a lot, okay? They really do regret that, okay? Because they really had romantic films for you. See, your person was trying to be a player, player from the Himalayas, but they met their player, playa from the Himalayas, and they didn't know what to do, okay? Dreaming about past life relationships, okay? And being intuitively guided to let go of control issues, okay? They want to come forward and express their love to you, okay? Lots of chemistry, you're dead close. Your person still feels an intense passion towards you, and that's what's making them want to come forward as well, okay? Spirits call me to use these cards. I still got a cold, guys, okay? Wait, let's see. Your person thinks that under no circumstances you would ever give them another chance, literally. They feel like soulmate looking at pictures they feel like right now the only thing they could do is look at your pictures all right so we're gonna kind of clarify this Ooh, the snake competition clever they regret putting you against other people looking over shoulder the other woman they regret that intuitively they knew better but for some reason they thought you weren't gonna find out okay healing heart healing from heartbreak free from toxic relations or addiction so they left that connection which was ruining them on top of it this person's annoying kisses because you were giving them unconditional love. They've never received the unconditional love that you gave them. The sword and the rose. And the truth is, they're intuitively guided back to you. So guys, I'm like getting so nauseous. Your person thinks of not, not being able to come forward makes them sick, literally. Because they like you a lot and they never got to tell you. Oh, I just felt nauseous like there. I feel like your person is upset. Like they're upset about this. Focusing on self, time to heal, self-appreciation, and wedding rings. Now, I only saw engagement. I just saw engagement rings. Where your person wants to come forward and marry you. They're ready to move this connection up to a better level of commitment. 13, 33 o'clock. Their, their passion for you never went away, okay? Insane chemistry, liking each other, equally having fun. They had a good time when you guys were together. They always think about that. They think about the good times you guys had together. All right, spirit. Let me can I have a card to clarify the overall energy for this reading is... You should let me love you. Sunshine got through there. I love you guys. Okay? Look at 10 Harmony. They want to come in. They, your person, they like, they don't want to be in beefing energy. So we're saying like beefing energy with you. Let's see what this is. Okay, yeah, spirit. Being led by spirit. Super intuition. Okay? They're letting go of things that don't serve them. I'm about to order new cards, guys. I'm going on, on today and just started picking out ones and putting them in my cart. Okay? New beginning, sitting home. They're ready for a new beginning with you. Such a guy through there. I love you guys, okay? And the breakthrough's coming. Listen, release expectations of your person coming back in your life, okay? Release 
expectations. I didn't say don't expect it or want them to, but release expectations because when you hold on to the fact that if you hope someone comes in your life, you hold on to that, it pushes them away. So the path of least resistance will be letting go and surrendering to spirit. 1444 on the clock, baby. Use your intuition. Sunshine got through through. I love you guys. Happy Friday. Happy Black Friday. And I'll catch you in my midday mix or my next read, whatever comes first. Mwah.